All right, welcome back to the channel. So, gonna do two small things today. Going to pull the car out, uh, turn it around, jack it up a little bit, and change the rear sway bar. So I've been sitting on this for a while. Uh, I want to get it done, and then from there I want to take off the fender exit exhaust. So the downpipe and everything else uh, from when I first put the engine back together. Together, um, the heat rubber's pretty worn, old, and just uh, fraying. So I took it completely off. With that, the underhood temperatures are extremely high, so I need to tone that back down and uh, get that under control. So, gonna work on that. We'll get the uh, dump head off and then take it inside and go through the process of wrapping it, which absolutely sucks. Uh, if you've worked with fiberglass before, it can be itchy if you do it pretty dry. You gotta make it pretty damp and wrap it around stuff pretty tight, and then use the uh, steel as a tie to kind of keep it all together. So, with that, Back the car up and go from there. All right, so I got my downpipe here, just kind of spray painted it with some black uh, ceramic coat. So we're gonna let that fully cure. I got about three coats on it, it's pretty thick. Uh, then we will heat wrap it, which is not my favorite part to do, but uh, this time hopefully it lasts a little bit longer. I also bought some heat wrap spray as well on top, so that should hopefully really keep my underhood temperatures down. Uh, if this works out pretty well, then eventually I might wanna take off uh, the mid pipe, or the crossover pipe, um, treat that also, and rewrap it. Um, if I ever came down to it, then I would pull the manifolds off and do the same with those. Um, but uh, for, yeah, for now, that should really help out. And uh, we're going to let that keep drying, come back, and then start the wrap process. Right, so I wrapped the exhaust, spray painted it, as you can see. I'm going to recoat this with some uh, heat wrap paint as well, just to kind of keep the heat down. And we'll see how it turns out. I sprayed all the other little things as well. Dump pipe, down pipe, and the turbo blanket. We'll see how well it works out. But at least it was kind of cool. Alright, so I used the last bit of heat spray to uh, kind of cover just the manifolds and just everything else just down in there. Kind of see if it helps with heat management. And I sprayed a little bit of the turbo housing and the crossover pipe and the fender exit. So without taking everything back off and just doing it nicely. I just want to see how well it works. All right, we're about to fire it up, get some heat in it, and uh, see how it goes. In case anyone, anyone's wondering, uh, this is what I got on Amazon. It's for exhaust wrap, so it's supposed to help the temperatures stay kind of cool. I'll try it out. I did spray whatever else I could on the exhaust side of things just to see how well it uh, helps with that. Keep in mind, I did spray paint the downpipes already with high temp heat, uh, black, and then wrapped it, and then I'm spraying it on top again. So hopefully that should make a sizable difference on the underhood temps. So let's get her started up and go from there. Okay, so I can definitely say now that I've got some heat into the car that this works. It's cool and warm, but 
the underhood temps are drastically lower. Um, I gotta readjust some stuff, but it's it's pretty cold. It does block out a lot of the heat. So with knowing that, I eventually want to take off the merge pipe and do the same thing and just spray it, keep that cool, and eventually one day take off the manifolds and spray them as well. All right, so I'm about to try the two step again and see just how much has changed. Uh, how the uh, exhaust is making the turbo spool. So it's concentrating the flames out pretty harshly uh, now. Um, so it's, it's making some gnarly uh, back bars. So even if I rub it, I get some good pops. just how it is on the low boost setting. 